Hello, my name is Travis Matier. I'm a University of Illinois beef cattle extension educator, and today we're here at the Ore Beef Research Center in West Central Illinois. We're going to talk a little bit about body condition score. In my opinion, body condition scoring is one of the most valuable tools for a producer or a consultant to understand. It doesn't cost anything to learn how to body condition score cows and it can be one of the biggest safeguards to protecting your herd in terms of management, nutrition, and herd health. Body condition scoring is based off a scale of one to nine. One would be the most emaciated cow and nine would be considered obese. In general, we want our cows to be in a range of body condition score four to body condition score six. Ideally, our mature cow herd at calving time would be a body condition score five we like to recommend that you prepare those first calf heifers or those virgin heifers as a body condition score six at calving. Being able to body condition score cows primarily gives you an opportunity to evaluate the previous nutrition and nutritional management of those cattle. Cattle that come in in low body condition scores can be signaling a few different things. It can be signaling that those cattle are not fit for your environment. It can be signaling a bit of lack in nutritional management, where we may need to intervene as the producer if all of our cows are in a body condition score of three or four. We've either had a drought situation or we've got cattle that simply don't fit our environment. If we find as a consultant that body condition score of the herd is between five and six, we can generally make an assumption that those cows are on a good nutritional program, that their genetics fit the environment that they're in, and in most situations that those cows are productive in that environment. Cattle that have thin body condition scores are more apt to not breed back. In severe situations, we could harm performance of the cow and even performance of the calf. Lower body condition scores of three or lower can really inhibit milk production and we could see lower weaning weights. One of the biggest reasons to body condition score your cows is because body condition score is strongly correlated to cow reproduction. To be successful in a cow-calf operation, we need those cows to breed and have a calf every year and do it over again. If cows are in poor body condition score, we know that they're less apt to breed quickly they're going to have longer postpartum intervals, which simply means they take longer to breed back. If you do find yourself in a situation where cows are thin and on that threshold of that body condition score of three or four, intervening with timely supplement would be recommended. If we can get thin cows gaining weight, we will have more success at getting them to breed up. The same applies to cows that are too heavy. Maybe we've got a cow that is lost a calf or not carrying a calf through a production year, a cow that's not carrying a calf, not having the demand of lactation can easily become fat or obese. Those cows may struggle at breeding time as well as over fat, overfed cows are simply more challenging to rebreed as well. When looking at cows to determine body condition score, we would want to look at several key visual indicators. Fat deposition in the brisket would be one, over the top line, in the tailhead area, from hooks to pins, and then even in the flank or cod area of an animal. One of the other visual indicators that's important to notice, especially when determining more thin animals, would be over the rib. When we can start to see visible rib in animals, we know that they're approaching that body condition score three area. My ideal body condition score for a mature cow would be a body condition score of five. When evaluating that animal using our visual indicators from front to back, you'll find moderate fill in the brisket, a smooth appearance over the top line, and a rounded appearance to the tail head. You'll also see that that animal is smooth from hooks to pins, and you will find some fat deposition in the pones of that animal. 
I would deem body condition score six more ideal for our replacement heifers. Uh, a body condition score six, you'll see more fat deposition in the brisket, the rib area being fully covered and no ribs visible to the eye. The hind quarters would be plump and full. And if we were to palpate that animal, they would be firm to the feel, especially over their top line and where their spine and transverse process is. A body condition score three cow, we will start to see a lack of fat deposition. We'll start to see more visible ribs, loin, and the backbone of the animal. We'll start to see more definition and definement at the hip bones. There's likely little to no fat in the pones area of the cow. In a body condition score four cow, this is one that's right on the threshold. We are starting to see maybe more of the ribs and potentially some of the four ribs. Still a little bit of fat cover behind the shoulder and over the top line, but we're seeing more pronounced hip and tailbone in this animal. Body condition scoring cows can be one of the most worthwhile investments of a producer and consultant's time. Training your eye to evaluate cows in terms of body condition score can lead to profitable decisions in herd management. I truly believe that you can't starve the profit out of a cow. In understanding, keeping cows in a good body condition score will lend to more longevity in your herd, good performance, and less difficulty and headache. It's gonna to lead to more successful cattle operation and a better experience on your farm.